Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, my name's Brandon here at my shop, Maximum Off-Road in Herman, Missouri. Uh, we just finished another rebuild on a T20 transmission out of a Max. Now I get a lot of questions on how to adjust the steering levers and the U-channels in the front of this. So I wanted to give you a few pointers and uh, show you what's really going on there. Uh, the manual's really good at walking you through it, but it helps when you actually see it in action. So this is pretty much what we're dealing with. We have the U-channel basically installed on the left side here. And here you can see your top and bottom band clevises. Now that's what controls your steering, your brake and your drive. Now what that is, is just a band clevis like this. It attaches to your drive band and there you can see a spot for two O-rings. Now some of the older ones they only had one o-ring on them so as you can see down here at the bottom of the transmission that one o-ring is the only thing keeping the fluid in so even though it's a small part that's one of the more important features of a rebuild as you can see some of these transmissions are over 40 years old now that little o-ring gets dried out you get a leak and there goes all your fluid so it looks small but it's really important now some of the parts you'll be working with is the U-channel itself. Now you can see that at the bottom, that's where your steering lever and the spring hooks to, as well as the bolt with the keeper. And here's the clip that goes over the head of the bolt, keeps it from turning. And you put this in when you're all done. Now you really don't need any special tools for this, but you can get a 9 16 socket, and you can see this one's been ground down on the edges. Makes it thinner to actually get inside the U-channel. And normally I just use my fingers, but if you got big fat fingers or the bolt's hard to turn, the socket does come in handy. But I'll walk you through some basic adjustment here, then we'll put the transmission in and, and hook up the steering levers. Okay, so what we'll start with here is the U-channel. And what we want to do is start with a bolt and you want to make sure these band clevises are pulled all the way out. So just hold it up and start threading the top bolt in. and then make sure the bolt is oriented to where when you pull it out it goes down into the keeper. Now especially when you're in the machine if you have it a little bit off and you pull it it can really jam in tight into that keeper. So you want to be sure the bolts lined up at all times anytime you pull this tight. And then you pull the clevis tight make sure you got all the slack you can. Start with the bottom bolt get it in Alright, so now that they're both started, you want to just tighten them evenly. And you see this space right back here against the case. You want to get that down to about an eighth inch. So when you tighten them evenly, got that one some of the way in. Now we'll start with this one get it down and you notice when they start getting tighter the bolt will start hitting that keeper and you really can't get it any farther in. Now you don't really need to go that far but you can tell you can't get it too tight for that reason. Now pull them both out snug and then you can look right in here and try to get it down to about an eighth inch because what it's going to do is rock on that case when you're steering. So that's about how it's going to be. 
Now we'll put it in the machine, get the final adjustment when we hook up the steering levers, and then we'll just place this clip through the hole and over top of the bolt, snap it in, all four, and you'll be ready to go. But we'll wait to put it in the machine before we do that. And of course when you're here, what we do is leave the transmission set on the bench overnight with fluid in it. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Uh, if you rebuild it yourself, you know, it's really easy to damage these O-rings, uh, damage the gasket while you're putting it together. So it's good to let it set overnight. And then we always ship them dry. We don't want fluid spilling out with UPS. But you can fully test the transmission while it's on the bench. Uh, you can shift it forward and reverse. You know, pull the steering levers. Just as if it were in the machine, that one would be in, this one would be out. Shift it forward. And then when you turn the clutch, this will turn. So you can see it working. Now you'll notice the other side is not turning. It's basically two separate transmissions in one. This side's in neutral, this side's in forward. So now that the transmission is set on the bench overnight, uh, we can be sure we don't have any leaks. Uh, we've checked the operation of the transmission completely. It's ready to either ship or go back in the machine. Okay, here we have put the T20 back in the MAX 4. And we're going to make sure our steering levers are adjusted properly before we get anything else in the way. Now you'll see these black rods. They're coming from our steering levers. And they hook onto the U-channel. Just a little clip on the inside. Now what we'll do is come up front here and make sure we have the proper travel in the steering lever. Now you'll see we push them forward and we'll pull them back. But you'll notice to push them forward they're already hitting the floorboard. And then to pull them back they don't go back far enough. Now, I've received calls on this before, and that's because someone has already adjusted the linkage at the bottom of these sticks. You see it hooks on and runs back to the transmission. See a little lock nut in those threads. Now, there's about an inch of threads showing. There should only be maybe an eighth to a quarter inch of threads. So that tells me someone has adjusted that instead of actually adjusting the U-channels, as I showed you earlier. Now I've never found a situation where this needs to be adjusted. Uh, that comes from the factory, so there's no reason to change your steering travel from there. It should all be done at the transmission as the bands wear, as things set in. So we'll pull the floorboard out here, and we'll get that adjustment correct, and then we can continue with the transmission itself. Okay, so here we've removed the floorboard and I've adjusted the steering levers uh, back to the factory position. You can see you just break that lock nut loose, uh, remove this little pin and clip here in the lever, and just thread it in. And again, about a quarter inch thread showing is about the factory setting. Uh, just do it evenly on, on both levers. And then, when you're back to factory settings, you can get a much better picture of how these steering levers should be. Now, generally, when they're pushed forward, I like them to be about three inches off the dash, and then when you pull them back, total travel should be about six inches, and they should come back evenly. So if you get one that either pulls back with the sticks uneven, or maybe when you push them forward they're uneven, you'll want to come to the back and adjust it here on the transmission. You'll notice we could take these bolts in a little tighter. Just push that keeper back. We could thread it in a little if we wanted to. Maybe a couple turns. And you'll adjust it right there. That's why you didn't install the keepers yet. Uh, you want all four bolts exposed to where you can still get to it. So let's say our steering levers, when we pushed them forward, 
the right side didn't go as far forward and we wanted it to move a little closer to the dash. So that would be your bottom bolt. And what you would do is free up some, some slack in the keeper. That way you can push that keeper back. And if you wanted the stick to move more toward the dash, you would unscrew that bolt a little bit. That would give it some more forward movement. Uh, just the same is true up here. This is for your stick when you pull it back. Let's say this one goes too far back. This right one's too far back. We want it a little tighter. Let's come back here. Move that keeper out of the way. And thread that bolt in a little bit. Now again, when you quit turning it, make sure it's lined up with that keeper. And then, when you pull back, it'll be lined up. So that's about the proper adjustment. Three inches off the dash, pull back, still got plenty of room before it hits the seat. The closer you get to the seat, the more it needs adjustment. So we're good right there. Now of course if you're working with a machine that hasn't been rebuilt, you'll have these large springs hooked onto the bottom of the U-channel. A little eye bolt and it hooks with a nut right up here. Now you'll want to take those loose before you even attempt to adjust it. They uh, are what has your stick spring-loaded forward. They'll put too much tension on it and you won't be able to adjust it. So when you're all done, you'll want to take your keepers, little clips here, slide it in. Just line it up there and pop it in with the pliers. And then when you do that, it'll be all ready to go. And then it'll push that bolt in like that. All right, that's pretty much everything you need to know about adjusting a Max T20 transmission. Now check out some of our other videos. We have a full walkthrough of the rebuild of the T20, as well as riding videos. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun to fix them, but it's even more fun to tear them up. So check out our, our rides. And uh, if you like the videos, punch this like button. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, we'll keep turning out these videos, keeping you guys up to date. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.